I want to give you an exercise to counter some of the heavier push-ups and overhead press work that you might be doing uh, while you're at home. We call it an arm circle. Actually, it comes to us from the Agoscu method in San Diego, the preeminent group in terms of posture correction. We call it an arm circle. Arms are out and down, just a little bit before, before horizontal, and make a, what we call a golfer's fist. When the thumbs are forward, we'll draw an eight-inch circle forward, and your job is to oscillate the arms, and that provides a little perturbation to where you make your one, body want to wobble. But I want you to hold steady, tight quads, holding steady, resisting that. The feel factor is going to be in the shoulders. We're after actually doing it for some muscles in your low back as well. We flip them over from a side view. Make sure that your the center of your circle is right through that axis of hand to shoulder. And when in doubt, air backwards a bit for most people. Nice tall posture. Don't jut your head forward. Let's take it in sets of 20. So that fundamentally is a great starting point. We like to get a little creative with it on occasion, but you can never lose the fundamentals. So in particular, in a hip flexor stretch, if I go down here and I engage my feet, so I'm pulling down into that foot, digging my back toe in, so all that system is irradiated and engaged, get my arm circle, same idea, create that oscillation that I have to stabilize against, my shoulders feel worked, a lot of those posterior muscles are engaged, flip them, go, go reverse, nice, then pre-position and rotate into your front leg. Make sure that your trail arm is pulled back so it doesn't turn into an L. Good, and reverse for your set. And then of course we turn away, staying tall, keeping that hip flexor stretch engaged. I've over-rotated a bit. You can see that my arms weren't in a straight line. Just doing the reverses on this one, but you'd go forward and reverse in both. There's plenty of other positions you could get into. We particularly like it out of the kneeling hip flexor and then into a standing hip flexor or maybe a standing groin stretch to load some things and get that oscillation. So that arm circle taken with a little creativity but never getting into huge wobbles can be really effective to help reset your thoracic spine after a hard, hard set of push-ups, have you walking around with better posture, better breathing as a result. Good luck.